I have an evaporative cooler with a low voltage thermostat controller. So if you have one of these, you'll know they're terrible. The thermostat really doesn't work. When you set it, get it to a set temperature, when the cooler approaches that, well, when the temperature approaches that temperature, the cooler starts to short cycle. And I mean like two seconds on, two seconds off. And it not only drives you crazy, but it could tear up the motor and destroy the cooler. So I pretty much use this as just an on and off switch. The problem is there's times where I want to control it. Like when I'm in bed, I want the cooler to run for maybe an hour or two uh, and then to shut off, but I don't have any way to set a timer with this. And also there's times when I'm either on vacation or coming home from a trip that I'd like to turn it on ahead of time. So I'm gonna install smart switches to allow me to do that in conjunction with this low voltage controller. So what I've done is, this is the control box that mounts up under the eave. I've taken it down, I've opened it up. And what I'm gonna do is put a switch, a Wi-Fi relay switch on the red wire, which is the low motor. That's the one I use all the time. And the neutral for that and also the black wire which is the pump and the neutral for that and so I'll be able to turn on the pump and the low fan remotely. I've got the breaker turned off to this cooler so that none of the wires are energized so I'll be safe while I'm taking these wires out. Upon further inspection it looks like I have the red wire going to low fan, the orange wire that's going to pump, and then you can see the two neutrals, L2, both L2, L2N, one's pump, one's motor. They give you this diagram on the inside of the box, and so it shows you that the L2, one is power supply, one's motor, one's pump, there's three uh, neutrals. Okay, I wired up the two switches with the right color wire so that I can go ahead and install them into the box. I installed the Wi-Fi switches, one for fan low, one for pump, and then I wired them both. There's just a single neutral in this control box, so I wired them both to the single neutral and I'm going to package them in there and close it up. They fit very neatly inside the box and they'll be protected in this weatherproof enclosure. I was going to try to mount them in here where the wires come into the cooler, but I tested my Wi-Fi on my phone inside the cooler and it drops off pretty dramatically because it's completely closed in metal. So I put it in there and put the sides on and when I did that, the Wi-Fi dropped way off. So I'm afraid I wouldn't get good Wi-Fi if I had these mounted inside the metal enclosure. So I've, that's why I've got them mounted in the control box. Okay, the switches are packaged inside the weatherproof box and it's mounted in its place back up under the eave. Indoors, I have the thermostat set to manual and low cool and so it's calling for pump and it's calling for the low speed of the motor. You'll notice it isn't on, but that's what it's calling for. This is the vent where the cold air comes out from the cooler. I've got the app open. You can see that I've got a, a tab for each switch. So I'm gonna turn on the main cooler pump I don't know if you can hear that, but I can hear the pump running. So it's wetting the pads. Now I'm going to try to turn on the fan. Yeah, that works. So this will be really nice to be able to use the other capabilities of this app, like for scheduling, timer, uh, just a lot of flexibility of being able to use the cooler. So test it out, it looks like it's working.